hello everyone welcome to my channel if you're new you're welcome my name is Anissa Fon and if you haven't subscribed kindly subscribe to help this channel grow and if you're a member you're welcome back thank you for coming back to my channel today I'm going to show you on how to cut and sew this Japanese skirt step by step so if you want to know how I do this keep on watching first thing I will do is to go ahead fold my fabric right side fitting each other which I really did then I went ahead to draw a straight line that straight line is my guide line and now I'll go ahead now to take around my waist measurement which is 28 28 divided by 4 will give me 7 inch I will be needing a dark of 1 inch then I'll go ahead to add my 1 inch of allowance once I'm done doing so, I will just come here and measure from the waist to the hip deep line, which is uh, seven and a half. I will mark it up, then connect it up with a straight line. Now that I'm done connecting it with a straight line, I will go ahead, take around my hip, which is uh, 37. 37 divided by 4 will give me 9.25. I will mark it up, then I'm going to be adding one and a half inch because the that does not really extend all the way to the hip deep line right then once i'm done doing so i'll just go ahead to connect that up i will connect that part with my french scarf i'm sorry the camera is a bit far away but later on i will explain that it is too too detail uh, ahead of this all right so like i said my camera was far away so what i did was to go ahead and uh, draw a straight line that straight line is my guideline then later on i took round my waist measurement and divided by four which is uh mine is 28 28 divided by four will give me seven inch then i added one inch for the dark and one inch for the sewing allowance then later on i measure from the waist to the hip deep line which is seven and a half and i mark it and connect the straight line Next thing I did was to go ahead on that hip deep line. I took round my hip deep, which is uh, 37, 37 divided by 4 will give me 9.25. Then I went ahead to add my allowance as well like I did on the waist. Now I will measure the, the length of the skirt which I'm working on and mark it up. Once I'm done marking it, I'll go ahead to connect a straight line. Then I will come at this downer part. I'm going to measure 9 inch and mark it up, right? I'll just go ahead to mark 9 inch. Then I'll go ahead to connect it up after marking it up. I'll go ahead now to divide. That's to take my nipple to nipple measurement, which is 7 inch. Divided by 2 will give me 3 and a half. I add a half inch to it all together. It's 4 because we're going to be needing it to join the dark together. And I mark that point at four. Then I uh, took my ruler and I connect it straight downward. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go up from this hip deep line, two and a half inch. Normally you go up by two inch, right? But I decided to go up by two and a half inch. Then I'm marking up my dark of half inch and half inch. Once I'm done doing so, I will go ahead now to connect it to the two and a half inch we went up just like as you can see me doing once i'm done connecting that up i'll just go ahead to cut that and we're going to use this front to cut the back pattern once i'm done cutting it i'll just go ahead slant it down here by half inch or three quarter inch all right now i'll go ahead now to cut up that three quarter inch notch it up i'll just place it in front that's to fold the fabric again while leaving your one inch of uh, zipper allowance so i'm going to replace back that three quarter inch we took for the front that we slant it for the front for the back we are going up instead we don't slant it down then i'll go ahead after marking it up i cut it just follow up what I'm doing then I'm uh, what I'm going to do now is to notch the points where my waistline that's my hip line is and notch it up here then once I'm done doing so I'll just go ahead to mark up where my dark for the back uh, piece is once I'm done marking it up now we're going to cut the waistband I'll just go ahead fold my fabric again right side facing each other then I'll take that 28 and divide it by 2 okay because my fabric is folded into 2 so 28 divided by 2 will give me 14 then I'm going to add 1 inch of allowance
so for the waistband i'm going to go in with a uh, four inch because we, by the time we finish folding it we will be left with two inch all right then once i'm done marking the four inch i'll just go ahead to connect it with a straight line and cut that up now that we're done cutting the waistband what i'm going to do is i'm going to be pinning off my darks together i'll just go ahead to pin up my dark that's to fold the allowance and pin that up okay sorry i'm far away from the camera like i said again but just go ahead to pin up the dark as we already marked it before and you pin that up and i'm also doing the same thing to all the other back pieces as well once i'm done pinning it i'll just take it and stitch the dark allowance and here as well do the same thing to the front piece right now i'll just go ahead to stitch it and i'm going to do the same thing to the other piece as well once i'm done stitching i'll go ahead to press that up to lay that flat and cut any excess hanging around or any thread now normally we're supposed to go ahead to place right side to join it up before we go ahead to do so we're going to add the dripping to it so what I did was to just go ahead and cut up a piece and I, if you notice that I joined this piece together at the center, that's because I do not have enough uh, uh, fabric. So then now I went ahead to kind of hem the edges to keep it neat. I did that with the hemming gum. Then once I'm done doing so, I'll just come here at the waistline so you can see i'll just place everything up but making sure i leave about two inch or even one and a half inch then i'm going to fold it making sure i fold around two inch okay so it should be deeper you can fold about one inch but two inch is good because it's uh, the pleats are really going to stay there right once i'm folding and uh, going i will have to pin it up to hold that and I'm making sure that I have to fold it for it to cover that line that we are joining it at the center. Then I will make sure that I also arrange it at the other side, all right? So now that we are done uh, like dripping it at this other side, I'll just come here. And if you check here at this other part, I went down by six inch all right not the same as the other side that we went down by just one and a half or two inch then we'll arrange everything up then let's run after doing so we'll just take it to the ironing board that's to press it to lay it flat before we start uh, joining all the pieces together you can see all right make sure you arrange everything I went ahead to press that up as you can see it's flat now I'll just go ahead now take the other piece to join it together that's placing the right side of it now just place the right side facing each other just like so and I'm going to pin that up I'll do the same thing to the other side now that we're done pinning i'll just take it to the machine and stitch one inch away now that i'm done stitching i'll just go ahead now to trim up the excess all right so we are done trimming it you can go ahead to zigzag it or if you have an overlock you overlock this up right so i will see this last one is a bit uh tricky i'll go ahead to arrange it later on now i went ahead to zigzag it then i'm going to fold my band into two and pin it up together like this all the way to the other end then now i'll go ahead to stitch it with half inch away once i'm done stitching i'll just trim all the excess then i zigzag that up to keep it neat all right so i'm done stitching then i went ahead to press that to lay it flat i'll just go ahead join everything up like this the band all right pin it up then we'll continue join this other downer part and pin that up as well 
like so and pin up now we will take the zip that i'm going to be using for this i'm just going to mark where the zip is ending then i'll start from there i'll stitch from there downward right so i'm going to stitch from this mark this chalk that i mark here downward while leaving the top part open Then once I'm done pinning it, I went ahead to press that flat to lay flat. Now we'll just flip the skirt to the right side and I'm going to be putting my invisible zip. And uh, if you see, I have <laughs> different colors of zip. That's because this is what I had at home. But anyway, you know, invisible zip, if you put it well, it will not even show. So I'll just go ahead to fold in the top edge and pin it closely to the end of the band right here and pin that up open this up and pin and do the same thing and I get here I make sure I open it up and pin then now I'll just go ahead pin it then what we're going to do again is to turn again the skirt to the wrong side to pin the other side right like this and I'm going to pin it up. Once I'm done pinning, I'll just take it to the machine and I'm going to stitch it up. Then I'll do the same thing to the other side. As you can see, I went ahead to stitch that up. And now we're going to pass this... Uh, to the right side and uh, zip that up and when you zip it this is what it look like like I say if you really stitch your invisible zip it will not well you will not show all right so this is what it look like after stitching that up and remember not to press on top okay then uh, you go ahead now I'll just go ahead to fold this up that's press it with the hemming gum and uh, we are done with this skirt i hope you all love this tutorial i'll put it on to show you what it looked like on me thank you so much for watching if you've watched so far to here i really appreciate you and uh, then i hope to see you on the next project all right so let's just go ahead to see how it looked like on me so this is a skirt as you can see I really love the way it came out I hope you all too do not forget to give this video a thumbs up like comment and share if you have your fabric just go ahead and <laughs> increase the length because I felt that it was too short like I said it was a leftover fabric that I have at home thank you so much see you on my next project bye bye